In this episode, I travel offshore to meet the men and women extracting gas from under the sea. This is how our power is made. I'm Keely Donovan, and like many people, I know little about the process that gets gas to my home. Offshore workers undergo rigorous safety training. I've done mine at a facility in Aberdeen that involved escaping from a ditched helicopter. I've passed all the tests, now I just need to get this survival suit on. The sea temperature at this time of year is about 13 degrees, so pretty chilly. But this suit is designed to keep me alive for longer should I end up in the water. But hopefully it won't come to that. Thankfully, there's a lift to take me most of the way to the top. Tight in here. Oh. This is probably a good time to mention that I'm claustrophobic. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's like a big toy. I'd never get any work done. It's all a big toy. <laughs> You seem very relaxed for somebody who's probably not always working in a relaxed environment. You have to be. We're safe in your hands. I hope so, yes. And to start the ball rolling, here's Keely, and she's looking towards the skies for inspiration. Just look at that view. There's something about the sky, isn't there? Particularly on a day like today that just makes you feel uplifted. And for me, every sky tells a different story about the environment around it and gives us a clue as to what might happen next. And I guess it's not surprising because I'm fascinated with the weather. So here are my top five summer favourites. And if you're after confetti which won't break the bank, I've got some natural, cheap DIY ideas to inspire you. How about collecting petals from your own garden? Heat them on a very low temperature in the oven and then keep them dry until the big day. If you're feeling really crafty, what about collecting leaves that have already fallen off the trees and cutting them into these little heart shapes? Perfect for an autumn wedding. Or for the bride who's feeling very kind to wildlife, what about bird seed? That's a new one on me. Hello, I'm Keely Donovan, and welcome to a brand new series of Inside Out. This week, we're in Hull. For that latest bout of extreme weather, the drought and the heat of June and July could have a massive impact on the food on our plates, or lack of it. I've been from the Pennines to the East Coast to down here in Lincolnshire to speak to some farmers whose businesses are taking a battering. At the first glance, you look at the field and you think, oh, this is quite a lot of grass but when you actually walk into it there is no bottom grass to it yeah, so there's you can nothing see, you're to absolutely cook. right from this perspective looking across the horizon yeah. it looks quite yeah. lush but yeah. yeah this just tells the, a different story the colour these should be double the, the, the size oh really yeah. oh you see i yeah. just thought these were yeah. i almost thought these were new potatoes actually yeah yeah these are these should be all baking sizes i mean you are not going to be impressed if you go in the supermarket and that's your four pack of baking potatoes, no, are you? No. And what does that mean for you then? Does it mean that you don't get the same price for them? They'll sell, but they won't be worth so much money if they had got a bigger size on them. How did it feel when you realised that, that she'd gone? It's like my child had gone. Um, somebody come in and literally stole one of my kids. That, that's how bad I felt. And what was it like without her? I would wake up two, three o'clock every morning Hello and welcome to Look North, our top story tonight. Leading the way in green energy production. South Yorkshire is set to become the UK's lead producer of green hydrogen, a major step towards combating climate change. We'll find out how that could affect fuel for our cars and heating our homes, as well as dramatically cutting our carbon footprint. Also tonight. You voted last night. The people have spoken. We did an online poll. Should we bring back the jackets mm. or should we bin them? And guess yep. what? We're bringing them bringing back. Bringing them back. And I noticed yeah. one comment on Twitter. He said, I'm going to vote for him to wear them so he looks an even bigger prat than normal. <laughs> would you like to join no, us? No, I would not. Oh, you spoil well, sports. I've got to, um, never too warm and cool at night. Some uncertainty, but Bank Holiday Monday at the moment is looking mostly fine as well. And that's the forecast tonight. Go on for me. <laughs> All right, then I will. I'm going to have to take my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strip tease! <laughs> 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 Quick! 
get it on. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs>